That's right, Megan. We are in the kitchen this morning with the one and only Anat. Hi. Hi. So we just saw that great segment oh, that yeah. Meg just did, she all did about great. bright side seafood. Yes. And you know, we're over here this morning. We're making a Mediterranean style roasted black sea bass. Yes. Sounds delicious. It is. It is. It's um, really a memory that I have from Israel, or something that I love to get uh, Branzino fish, and this would be like the American version of Branzino, New England, um, and it is just so delicious stuffed with oh. beautiful beautiful herbs and uh and lemon this couldn't be Looks simpler so good. Looks um, so good. yeah uh um mike had already uh he got it for me and then had already cleaned it out so you can get it scaled they can uh clean out the guts and then you just have this fish stuff it put it into the oven at 425 and you're done and you're done and but we're just gonna get a little bit more we're gonna dress it just up a little, a little bit, bit more just a little bit just but it's still super more. easy it looks amazing and tell me this so what other ingredients do we have because i know we have a lot going on but i love so that about much. you because when you come you think of the full <laughs> dish as well so you have like the, the main character but also all these great side dishes we so do i'm gonna pull out just real quick i started roasting some vegetables um so this is what we're gonna just so they get a little bit These of flavor. Look too. at that. So we've got um, uh, shishito peppers and tomatoes. These are obviously growing everywhere, both heirloom and cherry. Uh, we've got some uh, fennel. So it's gonna have that little anise flavor to oh, it. Oh, I love that. Um, and uh, just herbs and uh, and spices. So just in lemon, obviously, and onion. I know, I can um, really smell like, that and, lemon, uh, which I love, and, uh, love, love. <laughs> Now, and I'm about to put in also a clove, uh, just one clove of little uh, garlic in there to give it a little bit of a little bit more aroma. And then um, the herbs that are in there are also I put in a little bit of tarragon, which also has that anise kind of flavor to it. All of these are herbs and uh, vegetables are all grown uh, locally at different farmers with different farms and different farmers. It is a true pleasure to get all of these uh, things. Well, we're excited to see everything to come together. So make sure you stick around. And gonna be gonna. It's like the Not Show today. She's gonna be here throughout the whole show today. But right now we're gonna kick things over to Will. We are back <laughs> in the Road Show kitchen, Chef Anatsia from the Mosaic Table. We've got some Mediterranean style roasted black sea bass yes, on the menu. Sir. It is good to see you. It is I nice to see you. I loved the piece that you did with the with. Meg about uh, about where to get you know the fish and the different types so of fish that, that you love yourself too yes, right yes yeah. exactly it's so important um, really to source locally that's my my ethos and um, because uh, what grows together goes together I don't know and then you can kind of like pair up everything um, but really to support small business too sure. and the fishermen and and uh, and take well, care of I mean in all honesty we'd, we'd be crazy not to I mean the ocean's right there why why get right something there. from halfway around the world exactly when we don't have to? exactly and um, here we're talking about quality instead of you know quantity and really um, uh, Mike is so good about that and right. uh, looking to have everybody I mean I didn't know till the very last second that I would have the black sea bass so Look, I'm really excited to to have them you were just taking the uh, the sea bass was kind of separate and you were yeah. taking the the veggies that you had in here what veggies did you have because that'll even just what you put in here look beautiful and even if you're not a seafood fan you could have used that with anything exactly thank you yeah I, I this is literally what's coming from uh, the farmers right now so shishito peppers lots of heirloom tomatoes oh, they look so good. lemon fennel uh, as far as herbs it's been everything from um, anise or tarragon, I should mm -hmm. say, uh, as well as basil that was just it's growing nuts and right. uh, and cilantro. Um, yeah, it's uh, it, and the obviously red red uh, onions here that make it so delicious. So you took those, you took all the veggies in here first, right? And yeah, roasted and roasted, the, and roasted it. that in the oven. Started what it up. What else did you put in here? Is it, is that just the lemon juice that I uh, lemon smell? juice, a little white wine okay. to ha give that some aromatics, so that's cooked out, um, as well as a little bit of cumin and salt. Mm. Um, so yeah, just what just you know what I love about this Mediterranean style of cooking is that. The flavors are there. They're in the Mediterranean. You went to Spain. You yeah. saw different different places um, in Israel, where I'm from. It's uh, really about um, the highlight of what's growing, and there's so much, and 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 you don't have to do much to the product right. to make it absolutely delicious. And it's all very like a, a clean, uh, clean, clean way of of eating, and exactly. no like uh, you know chemicals or anything else. It's basically what you take out of the ground or the ocean. Exactly. That's what you're going to. Exactly. That's what you're going to have. Can, and can we just go over even? 
even with sure. so good. That oh, looks well, beautiful. Thanks. So I didn't. I wanted to put that into a little plate. Maybe we'll get that That's afterwards. Right, sure. But um, this is some Israeli couscous with. I put a little bit of Ras El Hanout in there. What's that? Um, What's that? That is a mixture of spices. It's um, from the Middle East, yep. also, and it's got everything from like ginger to cumin to a little bit of, of uh, uh, cinnamon. Um, and I added a little bit of. Um, of orange blossom water in there. Uh, the reason I did that is because I really love the citrus with the fish. Mm -hmm. I think with the anise also of uh, of this of like the fennel of the fennel going on. I think that uh, the basil that we've added on uh, really plays off of that really nicely. This is cucumber and fennel salad uh, with just a little bit of garlic, olive oil, sea salt, Not that looks, lemon. That looks so good. Thank you. These are all and messes. These tomatoes are perfect. They are right. And then we've got the tomatoes. Ooh, I'll just wipe off my little. Uh, that's a, that's a <laughs> yeah, you know, just to kind of do, cooking. you know. Um, so this is a red wine vinegar tomato and plum salad. We were. I was about to add cilantro to it. Right. So coriander, a little bit of red wine vinegar in there, and it's just so simple. Really brings out uh, the tomatoes. The tomatoes are so sweet right mm -hmm. now. They play really nicely with the plums. And um, I took shishito peppers again. Um, so really, we're using the same ingredients in different ways. So those peppers, do they have a kick to them, or are they? Nope, no, they're, they're, they're not. They okay. don't. Um, and so I just took them and grilled and uh, cooked them in the pan a little bit. This is tzatziki, so it's that yogurt. Mm -hmm. you Mm -hmm. know, that you get with the cucumber Good and stuff. garlic and uh, and a little bit of dill um, and fennel fronds I put in there as well. So really just utilizing, and this is also um, some kale that I, I uh, brought in from the farm, uh, fresh garlic, garlic and um, a little bit of harissa. Uh, so can you tell us about the Mosaic Table too as well, please? I would love to. Yeah. Um, Mosaic Table has, uh, so I'm a private mobile chef and I really enjoy creating menus that are, and dishes that are inspired by what is growing around us, Mediterranean, Middle Eastern flavors, playing on that with what we have available. So as you see with the different spices, different things that go together, um, really bringing freshness to the table, which allows for fish and meats, as well as a lot of vegetarian and vegan Nice. options um yeah which is good stuff which are really good yeah. and this is why the people in the mediterranean they live until like 110 the, exactly because well, they're eating clean food like like this as well exactly right. and we do have um we are beginning to do meze nights so this will be a lot of different little small dishes right. uh some of them have meat some of them have fish but different salads you may have a protein but this is you take a little of this a little of that and it just makes for a really nice beautiful spread on the table that's great that people can just enjoy that's great so you can head on over and check out the mosaic table. If you would like the recipe for this or more information about all of the dishes that, uh, that Anat puts together, you can head on over to our website. That is roadshow.com.